That's density, that's Massachusetts. Oh, all right, let's get started. There we go. Please attach the leg strap to your left thigh. Yes, left thigh. I feel like I've been putting the leg strap on the wrong thigh this entire time. Oops, chair in the shot. like boom in the shot except seating arrangements Whoa. the left joy-con in the left strap right joy-con in the right strap aka the ring Keep your posture straight. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Oh, Make sure man, your back is like, straight. I'm going to be feeling rough all day. Last time. I've been feeling right. rough all day because I've been eating. I've been eating like Next garbage. It's the heel lift stretch. I've been eating like garbage, Bring the insides and of because of a lot of holidays, come, a lot of holidays and other plans that have come up, Focus on moving the insides I of your ankles upward. just have been. Last time. All right. Yeah, I just Good. kind of. I'm kind of at an all-time low for the first time in like a couple of years. Take a big step when it comes to drop your hips. physical health. So this might be a rough session. Don't let your knees move too far forward. Make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead of you. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. As you exhale, begin to lean. Let's do one more of each. There we go. Great job. All right. I mean... I have more energy than I used to, but today it's not a good energy. Last few days has been not a good energy day. Okay. So I know I shy away from this one last stream simply because I did not want to get my butt kicked by my own incompetency. On, so let's, let's see try. if I can override my lack of energy. And go, go, go.
Whew. Well, a two minute run just kicked my butt. Good luck my way into great results. You don't know this. I like the skill. Well, he's by himself, so let's do a bunch of single stuff. happen it's a part of it's a part of entertainment viewing nowadays unfortunately whether somebody's affiliated or not Somehow find somebody who awesome. has that you enjoy who has a small following who can't get in on the monetary game of making content. You still get ads. <laughs> Very nice. Fine work. Perfect. I mean, I'm an affiliate, so I'm not. I'm not. Well I'm affiliate, so I'm not a. Saying I'm a holier than now mentality. Wisconsin teams. Well done. Except our problem is, isn't so much we just lose. We just because our problem is so much is that we just lose for the sake of losing. We don't lose for the sake of losing. We come out swinging with all our might in the first half, and then we go wait. There's a second half. Been that way for the last 20 years. Where every Wisconsin sports team I watch, they forget that there's another nine minutes of play. You can watch, like, the team I will speak the most of, um, American football, or hand egg if you would. <clears throat> if you watch the green... Oh, it's all good. If you watch the Green Bay Packers, all of our points, all of our points happen in the first two quarters, and then we get zero points in the second two quarters, or the second half. Baseball, because we were talking about that. Baseball, Milwaukee Brewers, innings one through four, we get like nine runs. Or we get like seven, we get seven points. And then fifth through the ninth innings, maybe a run. Maybe. <laughs> With your legs bent slightly, like I said, it's been like that for the past 20 years. 
Wisconsin teams forget there's a second half. Thank you. I I ate I ate lunch slash light and my basically ate all my food I should be eating for the day before I started playing Ring Fit here. So that's working its way out of my system. But I'm also a little more exhausted than normal because I because of the holiday weekend and everything. Wonderful. And. My mother's birthday, uh, basically in that same holiday weekend, I basically have been eating like absolute garbage the last week straight, and I am definitely feeling the uh, negative repercussions of it now. have to forgive me okay. if throughout this stream I am gassy. I just finished up some of I basically just finished most of the leftovers from that I was that was thrown at me as I left the other day for my parents. I'm almost done with all the leftovers and it's not my my dietary system is a car crash to put it, to put it nicely. that around here then again I don't even have a checkers around here or a white castle or the restaurants you constantly hear referenced in the media don't have those around here then again I don't think I've gone for fast food I don't think I've eaten fast food in year and a half ago yeah I don't think I've had fast food in a year and a half, and before, and if we're not going to count that one time, I basically had to go eat fast food or starve until seven o'clock that night. Uh, I haven't had fast food in four years, and to be honest, not having fast food, not a, not a bad trend to keep up. That's been a lot of my young life, basically going, oh god, when's the next time I can have fast food? Now in my prime adult years, we'll say, my prime adult years, I go, hmm, fast food, but I have food in the refrigerator I can be eating. Or, there you go, fast food. Mm. You know, I could probably get something cheaper. I could probably get buy something cheaper at the grocery store, and it'll be way better for me. But hey, no, uh, no shame beat fast food. I understand some people, it's like they're. they're... Okay, let's move. This one I know some people have a. Uh, have basically have to have fast food or they starve for 12 or they starve for 20 hours. So no shame. Okay. I have to ask. I must ask simply because there are so many different varieties of milk now. Are we talking regular dairy milk? Are we talking almond milk? Are we talking oat milk? Because by choice, I drink almond milk now. Okay. I'm not lactose intolerant Fantastic. or anything. I just like the taste of almond milk more than regular milk. Excellent. Great. Very nice. Amazing. Fantastic. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Amazing. All right. Well done! Neat! 
Pistons balance is improving. Oh no, mine's garbage. I like how I did this in the hope that I would actually start falling over, but I'm actually keeping my balance and I hate it. <laughs> Oh, right. I forgot. That's something I was going to do. The button's very far away. One of these days, one of these days, somebody's going to get me. Somebody's going to get me that button. Somebody's going to get me that button, but as a keychain, and I will have no more excuses. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, good lord. I apologize. Everything's kind of working itself out now that I'm working out. So, something I can talk about really quick here. This is just a me thing because I am an amiibo collector. If you look closely around me in the... If you look closely around me while in the uh, webcam there, you'll see that there's amiibo scattered everywhere. But amiibo collector status... I managed to get... I managed to get the uh, three amiibo that are coming... That came with... Uh, Okay, are that side. are part of Monster Get Hunter stories too. I managed to snag those this morning. Which yay I'm excited about because I I missed out on it because, you know Scalper bots post E3 and the fact that I was at work when it came out. Yeah. No, the switch itself isn't. The switch isn't dead. The OLED switch that's dead in the water. There will there will be almost no sales from that thing. I don't. Oh, I just started. You gotta give me to get back to the button now. saying your personal switch is dead not like the console itself or not like the uh, sales of the console itself got it I think It's very far away from where I'm working out. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. That sucks. Well, I realize it's three hundred and fifty dollars uh, American. I'm speaking U.S. dollars, not speaking anybody else's currency. I apologize. Good luck. Um, I realize it's three hundred fifty dollars, but. If you can get yourself, if you have saved up the money for a new one, data transfer isn't that bad. <laughs> In fact, I do it myself. Do I have the thing here? Right? Yes, I do. Here. So, I not realize not everybody has one of these. In fact, this, this thing I'm about to show you here is probably uh, hooked into most laptops. But this little device that you can barely make out I can kind of make it out better there uh, this is basically a U uh, um, 
a micro SD to SD card that plugs into the USB port on a computer. And do you know how easy it is to transfer stuff between micro SD cards with, with the switch? Put the two micro SD cards in here, find it on your computer, copy all, paste all. Congratulations, you've moved all of your data on your switch to a new micro SD card. But yeah, the uh, but really, I, I do understand. You know, three hundred fifty dollars is kind of a, that's kind of a big ask. Or you can stick with the three hundred dollar model. What I will say, what I will tell you though, just simply because one hundred and ten percent, one hundred and ten percent, because Joy-Con drift is going to still be a thing even with the new fancy switch. Do not. And I ask Perfect. you, please do not get a Switch Lite. If your Joy-Cons start drifting on your Switch Lite, well you just have a busted awesome. Switch Lite. <laughs> nice. Keep it up. I understand $100 less is very tantalizing, but don't. Please. I'm not saying this to make any to make any consumer upset. It's just like it's just a terrible investment. Unless you actively travel with your switch, do not get a switch light. My switch comes out of the dock. My switch comes out of the dock like five days out of the entire year. And I'm and it's probably would be twelve if I'm able to take a my once a year trip that I usually like to take, which I wasn't able to last year, for obvious reasons. So, as I say, and I repeat myself, please do not get a Switch Lite. I realize they're. I realize they got fun, pretty colors with them, but don't, please. I'm begging you kindly not to. See, look. I realize I'm doing this to get in position, but. Please, I'm on my knees, begging you, please, do not get a Switch Lite. Why do I sound like, why do I sound like Neocortex? <laughs> I have to remember, I have to remember, I'm learning Japanese. I need to remember, des is the quantifier of yes, that is it. Deska is asking, is it? <laughs> okay, let's move. Try this to work your core. Good job. Excellent. What is a say? I thought that was mom. Say mom? What is a say mom that would be so bad? What is a say mom? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't want to make, I'm trying not to make fun of you, but I'm trying to make light of it.
like how I quoted basically the opening to uh, the PlayStation Castlevania. And now all I've got is the YouTube poop uh, anima or source filmmaker animatic die monster dot WMD stuck in my head. It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh, 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 nice. flesh. Oh, ma'am. Got it. Great. If you're asking about Smash Brothers, don't ask me. Because outside of Donkey Kong, I have no confidence in any characters in that game. So I tend to pick random. I, ma I made the question mark with zero confidence in what I'll do in the match. Okay. It just tends to be how I play a lot of fighting games, most fighting games any anyway, regardless of if it's a platform fight or what, I tend to gravitate, gravitate towards the characters who are, I tend to gravitate towards the characters that are big, heavy, and hit hard. Oh hey, the AC died down. you would think, which you would think, oh, but Scooter, the newest DLC character Kazuya came out. He's heavy. He hits hard. You would like to play as him. Ugh. Pretzels. Help, the pretzel commands are attacking. Fine work. Fantastic. Fast Fine Brothers work. has Shotos, therefore it has pretzel commands. Excuse me again. Oh, I have to pedal rush? <sighs> Good lord. Although, speaking of that, I really do like to play as Terry. <laughs> I can semi I can semi consistently do Buster Wolf EX, so. <laughs> Mr. Terence Bogardian the 32nd. You know, Bowser Jr. has kind of fallen from grace. Not so much in Smash Ultimate because in some degree every character is viable in Smash Ultimate. But I knew I know Bowser Jr. used to have a much more respectable role, or more respectable <clears throat> role in uh, Smash 4 or Smash 4U. Okay. But you sit, but don't clown on Jr. too hard. Excellent. 
Don't call on Junior too hard. He can set up, which is always a scary thing when a character can do setups. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If a character can do setups, they're scary, which is why Junior and Snake are kind of a problem to deal with. But transitioning to another game. Bowser Jr. is debatably the most annoying character to, to golf against in Mario Golf Super Rush. Just, huh. Today, I would like to see where my ball landed. Best I can do for you is no. Oh, Mega Man's easy. Tilt sticks. I mean, I play... When I play Smash, I play... I don't play Smash Tacks on my stick, I play Tilt Stick. It doesn't help me that much because I keep forgetting I have Tilt Stick, but still. Okay, let's move! Be careful not to let your head fall forward. Great! I should say... Okay. I guess, yeah, I'm, I mean... I feel like... Over the next couple of months, I'm going to want to play Smash more. Simply because, you know, we have one character left until Smash Ultimate is a complete game. What well, I say one month? We have a couple months until Smash Ultimate is a complete game. We will know what the entire roster is of Smash Ultimate. Probably sometime in October. Which you may think, oh god, that's forever away from now. Right. That's only three months away from now. Yeah. That's why I said put your tilts on stick. Put tilt put uh, tilt attacks on stick and hit down and tilt down on the right thumb stick a lot. That slide comes in super handy. Oh, sorry. The small of my back really itches right now. Remember, as Mega Man, you have lemons. Lemons, nice. <laughs> lemons awesome. interrupt things. They don't, they don't do a lot of hit stun, but they do interrupt okay. attacks. Perfect. So when in doubt, lemon. <laughs> Give them a healthy dose of vitamin. <laughs> don't. Okay, I am losing my ever loving apparently. <laughs> okay. Lemon. Nice. Someone wants to take that out of context. You are well, you're more than welcome. Nicely done. Also, also, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know what it is, man. There's. Like, we always have the stipulation of lemons are sour, and yes, they are sour. Great. But we forget about the humble lime. The smaller, greener brother of the lemon. That is equally, if not more, sour. And debatable, but tasty. You ever eat a lime? Delicious. If I stand here and talk to you about how Ryu works, I can play Ryu. The moment you put me in front of a game with Ryu, I will not be able to show you can to save my life. I'll be able to Hadouken and Tatsumaki constantly, but I will not be able to sh uh, show you can. <laughs> Which sucks because I like to play as Ken, and Ken's kill move is Shoryuken. <laughs> I 
honestly, the show, all the Shoto characters in Ultimate, like, they're way out of their league. They're way out of the league in a platform fighter. But they just feel like they fit. Like, all of these Shoto fighters just feel like they fit. No matter how good or bad you are with them. And it's so... It's always so captivating when I think about that. It's just like... It's just like... Yes, here's all these characters who... Have been known to jump in their core games. But they're not good at jumping in the game that we put them in. Yet, they feel like they're at home. Sakurai and his team too, by the way. I'm going back to Smash Wii U times. I feel so bad for Sakurai and his team. Because they had a banger of a three character DLC drop lined up for us. And then seven hours before seven hours before the direct for them dropped, all three of them got leaked. Because they put off the patch, they put off the patch early and people found a way to see what the find the values and import the values of those characters over Mario. So we got spoiled on Roy's return, spoiled on Lucas's return, and we got spo and we got spoiled on the inclusion of Ryu. Like, I'm garbage at I'm garbage at traditional fighting games. I will admit that right up front. I am garbage at traditional fighting games, but even then, Excellent. including Ryu, including Ryu Perfect. in one of the largest video game crossover yeah, games yeah. to date, Amazing. was just Chef's Kiss. Well so like, even that guy that always clowns on you for playing a children's fighting game, Excellent. There's that guy that will always clown you for playing a children's fighting game, and you're like, okay, here's Ryu. Here's a character you'll play. Shut up. I made the same argument. I made this exact same argument when I think I put... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the year Smash Ultimate came out. I put Smash Ultimate in my top... I'm like, I my number one game from that year. Uh, if you're Pac-Man, try and zone them out. Try and zone them out with uh, your neutral B. That's all I can offer. But yeah, I made that argument when I first put out my video on Smash Ultimate, and I would, I would almost resurrect that argument once Smash, once Smash Ultimate is now complete. Is that Smash Ultimate is the game? It is basically a game. That anybody can play. Doesn't matter what genre they like, what difficulty of game they like, nothing, nothing stops anybody from from enjoying or playing Smash Ultimate. Because everybody can find somebody to play. Like, take me for example. I grew up playing Scrimblow Blimblows and beat em up games. Platformers and beat em ups. I grew up playing nothing but those. Who do I play? Donkey Kong. <laughs> you know, you take somebody who is all into tactics or and or stealth games. Solid Snake, right there. Second place trophy goes to Bowser Jr. They're both right there. Uh, Scribblo Blimblos. I'm saying it. I'm saying it horribly, by the way. That is the uh, uh, when when people were arguing who was going to be, who was going to uh, soon be revealed to be Kazuya. Smash uh, s Smash social media erupted in a uh, in a war of sorts of who would get added and who would not, and. 
when it came to talking about generic platformers getting added, that got the key, the code word of Screamblo Blimblos. And, and if they talked about a JRPG protagonist, preferably with a sword, they, they, everybody was calling him JR, JRPG McSword Guy. I think it ended up becoming uh, general good natured fun at the end of the day, at the end of it all. But, yeah, people were just arguing, no, this generic ass platformer character okay, will never get in sucks. because they're generic ass platforming character. No, not that. No, this, this RPG protagonist will never get in. We already have 20 of those. And then just Kazuya Mishima wins. No, I've gone on about, I've gone on this, this is like the, we're talking about Smash stuff, and I think I've gone over this before, but I want to go over it again, just because that's the topic of conversation right now. So, um, excuse me, oh, sorry, I am sorry. Everything is working its way out now. Because this is the first real workout I've had since I've been eating like absolute garbage this last week. This last seven days, I should say. So everything's kind of working itself out now. Anyway. But yeah, while we're on the topic of Smash. Stuff. I said this on Twitter, and I want to reiterate what I said. Regardless of who the last character is in Smash Ultimate... Like, it could literally be a character from a game series I will never play or adamantly hate. I don't care who the last character is. At the end of all this, I really want Sakurai to either step down, either step down in roles as a designer or a developer for Smash Brothers, or take a long, like a year-long vacation, or just retire. Like, I want you to put this in perspective. Excellent. We don't, like, I think Smash... I think Smash 64 came out in 98. I could be wrong on that. I could search that up, but I'm away from my computer right now. Smash 64 came out in 98. Which means it's been in development since probably 95. Okay, I'm gonna keep on this topic. Keep it up. But yeah, Sma like Smash has been Smash as a series has been in development for nearly for for I gotta think. Smash has been a game series has been in development for 25 years. Nice. I'm gonna say that again. Smash has been in development for 25 years. With Sakurai being like the captain of that boat, and basically sacrificing time and energy to make the game perfect, because that's basically his namesake at this point. When you think Smash Brothers, 
if you're not thinking the characters and you're thinking the developers of the game, the first word, the first name that comes to your head is Masahiro Sakurai. Great. And not to say Miyamoto hasn't been, hasn't had his hands in making Mario stuff over the last 35 years, but I would argue Sakurai has had probably a harder go of things with Smash Brothers. Plus, he's also still puts his hand in like Kirby development and now and again. But yeah, like Sakurai, Sakurai has been working on Smash Brothers as a series for 25 years with seemingly no breaks in, in any of it. I want that man to take a rest. I want that man to take some well-deserved R&R. I want him to recover. Or, what I would prefer is for him to just be like, okay, I left my lineage on the table. This is me and my lineage on this table for you. You can make more, but this is my magnum opus I'm leaving on the table, and I'm making sure it is as it is the best possible game to exist, period. I want him to go out on that note. I don't want him to become Inafune, who was, who was synonymous with Mega Man and his success through the from from the 80s through like early 2000s to just trash all of the goodwill he made over that over that 30 year span on a very bad cash grab game I want Sakurai to go out on a high note okay let's move exhale as you raise your legs all right Oh, that's next. I can see what that text is. Perfect. Well done. Fantastic. Excellent. Sharp. Very nice. Keep it up. Not done yet. Because, like, well done. Like, you have to understand how big Smash Brothers has become. Excellent. Smash Brothers, it helps say that Smash Brothers is tied to Mario. But Smash Brothers is synonymous with video games as a whole. It's like, it is All right. outside of Minecraft. Minecraft, uh, okay. Among Us, I'm gonna say, even though it's probably not that high yet. Other than Minecraft, Fortnite, Your sweat is so shiny. Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. Like, outside of those games, outside of those game series, like, Smash Brothers is... Smash Brothers is video games. And I would want to see that series go out... I want to see Sakurai's name go out and that series to go out with him on the pinnacle highest note it can possibly get before it gets before it gets ripped apart and torn back down to, to molecular sized pieces once everything is done. Found a tiny rubber band on the floor. Anyway, up we go. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release toward victory! Oh. 
slightly oh, covered right. the I have to do motion this. camera. Sorry, I, I gotta respond to this shelf. text here, so this is gonna take a minute after I get my pulse check. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Respond to this text. Okay, respond to the text. You don't know this, I could be a lucky son of a bitch. Okay, that one actually is true. I didn't get to be 250 pounds, well, used to be 240. Probably more now since I had like crap the last week. I didn't get to be 240 pounds at one point by, by, Hoping and praying and wishing to the various gods of luck that I would succeed. Choice of song side. Ah. The children no longer they're no longer spooks. for 20 minutes. Let's go. Let's get up. Go, 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 go. Actually, before we go, smooth ingredients. Consume. I forgot I had this. Oops. Consume. I need to buy more ingredients or make more. All right. Let's go. Let's get up. Go, 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 go. Hey, big guy, hey, little guy, can you tell me who gave my Sorry, but I don't know, we are simply not your own. Games don't fall, please. I'm in the middle of very strenuous workout stuff. We got a runner. Come back here. Come hither. I said come hither. God, the rewards for the yeah. catchings are bunkus. Okay, but I'm not high stepping, but thanks, game. Okay, let's select the skill. Never go left, right, up and down. Okay, let's go. This will focus on working your legs. Fine work. Take it down. Now 
would be a good time to remind people that I am one of like 20 people in the world that, that, think, that thinks Big the Cat is the best Sonic. Will I die in a hill to defend this? No. I'll probably be at the bottom of the hill avoiding the gun, the gunfire and the blood, bloodshed that results from the great Sonic OC war. I'm sorry to, this, to the people who make Sonic OCs because of my deme my demeanor towards it. The internet has soured my mood against people who make their own Sonic OCs okay. in a going. negative light. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Come on. Like there's a handful of them okay. that are good OCs that people can respect and enjoy. Unfortunately, feels great to move your body, right? Unfortunately, it's like trying to find a good human being. It's like trying to find a good human being in today's day and age. For every one good Sonic OC, there's about 100,000 bad OCs or OCs that are, that are backed up by bad people. <laughs> I think everybody at some point in life has made a go down. Has uh, partaken in the Sonic OC stuff though. In fact, I'm pretty sure I uh, I don't talk about it too much, but my first interaction with the internet was not, or my first interaction with social media and the internet wasn't. Uh, YouTube and video creation. It was. It was making a. Uh, it was doing what the craze was back then, when I was young and on the internet for the first time, of web comics. Starring licensed characters and recolored OCs that I made. Like, what is it? Somebody's gonna clip this in the future, I'm well aware, but I don't care. Because, <laughs> what is it? When I was 14, 15 on the internet, when the internet was a new thing, the bandwagon at the time was web comics with recolored, uh, with recolored OCs that were, were, that were writer self-insert.
I'm not going to discuss what the character was, because I never, I never picked a concrete design. I never stuck with a concrete character when I made an OC for myself. All you gotta know is I went with the edgiest name you could think of, Darkfire. Edgy as hell. <laughs> But all remnants, all remnants of that webcomic that I did, not only never made it to the internet because I never understood how to code HTML at the time. I never took took a learning to. I never took the time to learn HTML. But all the files I had with that are currently on floppy diskettes. In a landfill somewhere. <laughs> Maybe one day if I get bored enough, because I still have like the meticulousness that I used to have growing up to edit things. Maybe, maybe if I ever get the time, I can sit down and do and recreate sprites or getting like sprite creation work like I used to and start making that a new medium for me to explore. <laughs> yes. Yes, Scooter, let's go down many avenues. You want to speak Japanese, Spanish, you want to become a content creator both on Twitch and on YouTube, and now you wish to become a sprite artist on top of it all. Boy, you will have your hands full. Should I shut up? <laughs> time so I can get myself mentally prepared for mountain climbers. So, yeah. But I guess I tell that full story. I tell that full story because even though I talk trash on edgy OCs, I 10, 15 years ago I was none that I was none too different. Actually closer to 15 years ago, because I think about 10 years ago I was I was riding the high of that video game let's play content creation still am but that's when I really started to get into it heavily <laughs> so please make your OCs ignore the ramblings of of a 30 plus year old man who's, whose OC creation days went and passed him and now he's just a shadow of his OC creation self Hell, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure some people would regard me as a jerk if I didn't backpedal or speak ill of myself in this subject matter because I have a handful of friends who currently as of now 
make Sonic OCs and invested are not and are invested in that community still. Drop your hips. Needless to say, I would be a hypocrite. And after my family history, the last thing I want to be is a hypocrite. Ooh, high score. Oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, we'll listen to the game. We'll take a quick like mental break. Take a quick break before we move on to the next, next stage. I want to do a full, a full workout today. I really want to do a full workout today because I have been slacking terribly on working out. Even when I do these streams or even when I'm doing my own personal workouts, I have been stopping my workouts like 10 minutes shy of my goal. And I didn't I didn't get to lose over a hundred pounds by taking shortcuts. Granted, I used an elliptical, which helped me greatly, but I didn't get here by taking shortcuts. Although, you can tell my body is trying to find reasons for me to stop. Because <clears throat> I'm going full ADD right now. I'm still resting a minute, but I gotta think right now. So because I got lucky and managed to get a uh, order, get my order of Amiibo in for the Monster Hunter Stories 2 stuff, now I gotta sit here and think, what am I missing for Amiibo? I'm missing the Metroid Dread combo pack, and, I'm, and it's not out yet, but I'm waiting for the Min Min Amiibo pre-orders to drop but that's basically it's all on docket right now for me is because I got the I got the Zelda Loftwing amiibo on lock. I'm literally just waiting for the Dread combo pack and Min Min at this point for amiibo. Man, that makes me think. There's not a lot of amiibo left. Like, unless Nintendo's going to find ways to shoehorn the rest of their Amiibo into something else, there's not a lot of Amiibo left to, to get to get or give. probably cool down the rest of the way while I'm doing this. I'll muscle all up. Yeah. Bada level up. Pull yourselves up by your bootstraps, man. Hit, cut. Now the thing is, you expect me to do that a lot slower. I'm not. One. Dang it. 
It's not to earn anymore. To earn is dead. Okay, you know what? You take those. As I proceed to go up and get the, the other one. No, I want those. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give now my best is finishing this course. Oops, this one. My best is finishing this course, which... That's not happening. Okay, we're done. That's still an A rank, that's why I need to get the bonus. Oh man. Level 269 nice. is about to leave us. Oh, I can make one? Well, we're gonna make one. Just go full, just go full Yogi Bear. Aye, oh, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a dragon fruit to drink. Have you ever thought about stop? Never, not once in my life. All right, we need some vanilla ice cream. Actually, make it all vanilla ice cream. Are you ready? Use all the vanilla ice cream. Squeeze! Keep squeezing! Time to squeeze. <sighs> Banana vanilla smoothie. Looks tasty. Okay. I have made it all. I have made it all. I made it all. I made it all. I made it all. And I made it now. Let's, you know, that's something. Not right now, but that's something I should probably look more into in the future. Because I, because I understand that's something I can't really do on Twitch right now because the DMCA said, "Hmm, you're having a lot of fun there, son. Would be a shame if you could if you couldn't have fun anymore on your platform about playing video games." But I would love, I would love to get into like doing karaoke stuff. But I would, ha but it sucks. I couldn't do karaoke stuff, but I want to do karaoke stuff. But I can't do karaoke stuff simply Squeeze. because Twitch folded to the DMCA. And now, if you try and do karaoke on this platform, done, kaboshed. I could do karaoke on this platform, but you know what the karaoke would all entail? Me singing along to video game OSTs. And even then, even then I could still get in trouble for singing along to video game OSTs. Because some companies don't understand that not every single video game soundtrack, or that some companies don't understand that we can't help it if a video game soundtrack is there in the background while we're thinking on a puzzle. Seventy, one eighty. Half 30, 33 minutes for one eighty. All right. 
Can I come back? Or, as a certain Cantonian professor would say, I'd come back. Yeah, I've given you this item for you to use on your next expedition. It's a flat fruit. You mean an apple. Flat fruit! You ungrateful for little shit? Oh, got me. Alright, let's go. Oh, you think? Could it possibly be after the series of jumps? Speaking of... Alright, you ready? I'm gonna hit you, I'm about to hit you with the truest combo. Sesame smoothie into dragon drink. True combo. My belch signifies me belching is the is the sound effect you hear when you get true combos in games. <laughs> so can I buy everything? Oh wow, I only have twelve more. I only have four more times. Uh oh. Uh oh, running out of content. I mean, only what? What is it? I'm trying to think. What, only 90, 100 hours into playing this game for my own exercise benefit and for Stim to stream it? I'm running out of content? Oh no! I spent $70 on this game and two replacement ring cons. And I'm just now getting to the point where I'm, where I'm at less than a dollar or I've, spent, or I've spent less than a dollar per hour of game time oh no whatever shall i do okay. uh what's in the box Let's the my timely yet assured demise with a jar of maraschino ch uh, cherries. You know, I hate myself. I'm bringing up maraschino cherries, the only, like, other than a black cherry or ch a cherry that I can think of for cherry names. I bring up maraschino cherries. You know, the ones that go in cocktails. I'm waiting. <laughs> I need a better shelf for that. Yeah. Maraschino cherries. You know, the things that go in cocktails and adult beverages? Yeah, that's the first thing I go to. By the way, I'm not a lush. I don't drink. Okay. Let's say, when's the last time I had a beer? A full beer? That's a good question. Had any part of a beer? I tried somebody's beer last weekend. <laughs> Homemade beer. They uh, let it ferment too long, so it just smelled, tasted like nail polish. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to say this right now as a disclaimer. I, I've already said just a little bit ago, I am 30 plus, so I am definitely of drinking age. If you are not 21 plus... Do uh, in the United States. Do not drink. Just wait. Your taste buds will thank you. And your taste buds will thank you over time, and you'll understand the ramifications of alcohol much better. Hopefully. Work. 
Here you go, take it. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. So. Um, I've gone over four. I'm going to take a minute to talk about this so I can recover my, recover my stamina just a little bit here. So that phone call was for a potential job. And unfortunately, we have I have to let that job go because I'm literally starting a new job on Monday. I, so I had to let that one go. And I have to let that one go because if I start this new job and then I walk in and say, by the way, I'm going to a different job in two weeks, I'm just going to look like a dick. <laughs> and if I just don't show up to the job that I just acquired to go to that job, I'm going to be out pay for like two weeks minimum. <laughs> And I'm not a very high maintenance person. I don't need a lot of money. I still need money to pay my bills. <laughs> and two weeks without that is enough to make things scary. <laughs> anyway, back at it. Okay, let's move. Okay. Incineroar! Oh my gosh. I got so tired of hearing that name on Sunday. Great! Nice! So, for story purposes here, Good job. let me let me awesome. step back and explain that. Very nice! So I have two Amazing. nephews. One is eight. Yes. One is six. Yes. Sharp. Great. They both Fantastic. like watching Pokemon. Guess which fight, guess which one, Wonderful. guess which one kept picking Incineroar for six hours yes. straight on Sunday. Yes! Yes! Twenty more! Great! Awesome! Fantastic! Nice! Fine work! Keep it up! Okay! Perfect! Very nice! Let's keep going! Nice! You got it! You got it! Come on! Very nice! Ten more! Fine work! Great! Nice! Good job! Alright! Five more! Okay! Okay! Three! Okay, we're done. Oh, the younger of the two kids picked Incineroar. So, excuse me. So I don't know who you play. If you main a character, fine, you main a character, whatever. But just imagine two boys who watch Pokemon who are under the age of 10 for over the course of six hours, every five minutes you hear... You hear either Pikachu, Lucario. Yeah, you hear either Pikachu, Lucario, or Greninja, followed immediately by Incineroar. Every five minutes for six hours. <laughs> Seis horas. I don't know how to say hours in Japanese yet. 
but Roku hours. <laughs> I love my nephews, but six hours, but playing video games with them for six hours, I had a migraine right here in my head, and my right ear was ringing, because their volume control is was non-existent. They were at like a 12 out of 10. They both sat on the right side of me and shouted constantly. I don't think my ears fully recovered from that from last week still. Fatality Bowyer? Hey, wait a minute. Super Mario RPG is a dead game that's only appeared once and for some reason everybody's like, put Gino in Smash! Listen, I love Super Mario RPG. Fantastic RPG game. I want nothing but the best for that game because it it broke so many boundaries back in the day, but the Geno fans, please Geno fans, I understand you want Geno in the game. I'm fully aware. I'm still holding out hope for a playable fighter. Isaac or Felix from Golden Sun. Please, let it die. Understand the dream is dead and move on. There are like there are many people who are dying for Kiryu to be in Smash Brothers because his wacky antics in Yakuza fit in very well with Smash Brothers. But Yakuza's creator has flat out said he does not want Kiryu in Smash Brothers. Because Kiryu would never hit a woman. Like, I forget his, uh, I forget his first name. But Kiryu is a gentleman. He may be he may be Yakuza, but Kiryu is a gentleman and would never hit a woman.
better. Oh, I'm feeling better. All the, all the bad decisions are coming back out of my system now. Yes, I call the copious amounts of bad food I've eaten over the last week bad decisions. <laughs> cohort on the right would be you I figured you you and your cohort on the far right would both be doing this thing that they're, that they're about to do. Well, that's unfortunate. They're not going to live to see you tomorrow. So while I'm talking about things, I'm getting, you know, hashtag humble breaks flying out okay. my face. So, I love how the special edition of Metroid Dread, I love how the special edition of Metroid Dread got scalped up so freaking fast that nobody was, that nobody was even able to get. Like, people who would actually use it never got a copy of Metroid Dread special edition for a while. It all went to bots. And then randomly one night, it, Walmart was like, by the way, pre-ordered Metroid Dread from us. And I was like, done, on it. And I got it. And then I got an email yesterday at the, when I got home from work. I got an email yesterday from Walmart saying, hey, we're price matching. We're price matching on this game. So you, so... We're refunding you $37 of your purchase. <laughs> so, the long and short of that is, the long and short of that story is, I'm getting Metroid Dread, the special edition, for cheaper than if I were to go out and buy the normal edition on launch day. Enough. I am. Oh. Good job. This is the first time I've been excited for a Metroid game launch. This is the first time I've ever been excited for a Metroid game to launch in my life. And now I'm sitting here going, Oh god, October can't come soon enough. For one second. Fantastic. But I've said it before, like, for the 30 ish years of my life that Metroid has existed, I didn't get it. Never understood it, didn't get it. Now, in the year 2021, I get it. I entirely get it. <laughs> I get why we, why as a collective, 
the Metroid fan base is Gaga over Metroid Dread. Or Metroid games in general. As the saying goes, better late than never. That could extend to a lot of things in life. That saying, better late than never. I mean, that can apply to this game. I like how I use my foot to point and basically said, hey, look, take a feet pick. Um, like, this game is pretty much example of that for me, you know. I'm never going to work out. It's never going to be my thing. Better late than never. Oh, I'm never going. I'm. I want to learn a new language, but I'll, that'll never happen in my life. I've the boat has sailed. Better late than never. <laughs> of course, I'm saying that now. I'm saying all this now. Give it until like Christmas, when I run out of program on my phone to study on, and I'm like, well, now how do I practice my Japanese? <laughs> Other than speaking Japanese to Jap fluent Japanese speakers and getting told, oh, you're an idiot. You put that hashtag in the chat, and it makes me think that it makes me think that you know what? Not a huge one for me, and we've already technically got the two characters with the same name issue going on. Just put Ryu Hayabusa into Smash, round out the NES library of classic games. Call it a day. Like I understand, uh, I understand Koei Tecmo has a pretty strong stranglehold. I realize Koei Tecmo has a pretty strong stranglehold on Ryu Hayabusa and his likeness and how many Dead or Alive games he's going to be shoved into. Giggity. Um, but, I don't know. Ryu feels like he, like, if they're not going to go third party, I, I'm, wow, I'm speaking semantics on this one, technically. I'm speaking hits. semantics on this one. Because Ryu only appeared on another, only appeared on Nintendo consoles again within the last, like, month. But then, he, but before that, he was gone for, like, 20 years. <laughs> But no, uh, there we go. But no, Ryu Hayabusa. Ryu Hayabusa in Smash kind of feels like he belongs there. Sure, he may not may not be the most notoriable video game character ever known, but he may not be the most notoriable video game character known at this point. But he's part of the NES lineage at this point. So if they don't go third party by getting somebody like Master Chief or something, I feel like Ryu would be the next, uh, Ryu Hayabusa would be the next step.
Oh, we're just here. Mm, that's what I was gonna check. Calories burned. 240, not bad. Ah, abs set. Mm, I'm gonna have rock hard abs. And be upset. So what are we starting with? Ooh, planks are in the set. Oh boy, I get to do planks. I'd actually want to do planks for a couple of days now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Twitch audience, if you wish to do planks, please invest in a yoga mat, even if it's something as flim and flim flim and flimsy or slim and flimsy as this one. Well, that happens. That happens a lot of times. If somebody's watching somebody and they have to give a gift sub, but everybody in the chat is already subbed, they'll start reaching out to people who have uh, who have previously watched their streams. Or Twitch will give it randomly people who watch their streams. I've got a gift sub to I've got a gift sub to my friend Will, and I've only been to his streams once or twice while he was streaming Upuna. Apuna is a weird game about making friends, by the way. Oh, hey, you can see that. Sorry, sorry, men or ladies, you're not getting, you're not getting Twitch streamer nipples today. I am wearing a black sweating vest. Ha ha ha! I am a vile villain indeed. When you say it like that, it sounds even worse. I'm well aware. Let me have this. Also, let me have that biscotti you got in your right. No, no, not that one. That. One. Yeah, that one. Let me have that biscotti. Oh, sitting vertical. Okay, let's move. This exercise is also great for working your leg muscles. Yes! Yes! All right! Amazing! But yeah, anyway, to round it back around what I was saying before, how gift subs work is to try and target people who are currently watching the stream. If there are no, if there's no eligible people, if there's no people watching the stream that aren't subbed to the stream already, it will then try and seek out people who previously watched the stream. And if it can't do that, then it just picks random users. <laughs> Saw a bit of loose skin in my toe. I was worried it was going to evolve into something worse. It wasn't. Okay. Perfect. Fantastic. Sharp. Great. Very nice. That's what's gonna kick my butt. Okay. Because I haven't even gotten to the planks yet. Amazing. And I'm running low. But I can't stop early. Because I've been slacking so much lately. It's missing my foot now. Sorry, when you prep up to do exercises and you look down at your feet and you see scabs, you get curious about your feet and wonder if things, if things are gonna be okay. The button's, on, the button's a little far away, my friend. I can't reach it right now.
You know what? Hey, Big Brother Twitch, if you're listening, I've got an idea for you. Take it from me. I only want like a little bit of royalties for the idea. Paid for subbing. You can buy your you can buy a subscription to somebody that you're already subscribed to and give it to a specific user. So instead of giving a gift of a sub, so instead of having a gift of sub to a random person who's not even watching the stream, you can just gift it to somebody who you know who on that you know is a friend that you think would like the streamer that you bought the gift sub for. Or that you bought the additional sub for. There you go, Big Brother Push. That one's from that one's on me. I'm the house. If you implement it, just slide a cool, just slide a cool uh, affiliate, or not affiliate, just slide a cool partner badge underneath my door. We'll discuss the details later. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I don't know if you mean to type this in another chat at all, Kingslot, but you're typing this in the Twitch chat. sure you know where your uh, where your cursor is when you're typing or using text-to-speech either or Friday. Answer Yakuza it's Friday night meme here.
<sighs> oh, damn it. Well, welcome to the Discord. Oh, never responding to that right now, obviously. All I ask is just make sure you read the rules really quick. Other than that, have fun. Thanks, took it out of me. What? Well done. We don't stop. Awesome. Everybody move your feet and don't stop. Don't stop. 
stop the beat, won't stop, won't stop, won't stop the beat, I can't stop, can't stop, won't stop the beat, no! Very nice! Wonderful! Oh. Yes! Yes! I can't tell Excellent. if my adrenaline for this is, is kicking in or if I'm getting loopy just from overexerting myself. Probably a little bit of both. Good job. Perfect. Yes, I have become one of those people that interject Japanese words into my dialogue. I've become one of those people that have, been, that have inserted Japanese into my dialogue, but only for words I know, and only because I need to practice them. If I stop saying the words, I'm going to forget what they mean, and thus make the last three months worth of work moot point. <laughs> We aren't done yet. Gotta go approximately another 10 minutes. Something I can do. It's not terrible. Oh god. Oh, can't move. Okay, let's go. It's a good stretch for your lower body. Great! Amazing! Sort 
sort of. Great. They're not full splits. But considering my lack of flexibility in my legs, mainly my hips, yeah, this is pretty much the splits. Oh my god, my arms are shaking. My arms are shaking. Nice. Which Fantastic. means I may be doing too much. Good. Excellent. We're hitting a point. Sharp. Sure. Alright. Good job. Perfect. Fine work. Yeah, my arms are quivering awesome. right now. My muscles are freaking out. Because they haven't had to hold me up to this for this long. Okay. And they're not used to doing this long Keep of an exercise up. in some time. Very nice. Amazing. Well done. Wonderful. I don't like that I just heard something. Oh, I forgot to hit the button. Whoops. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, the button's gonna have to come after all this. Well done. I just looked at my notifications and realized I forgot the button. some of that classic Street Fighter 2 dittos. No, you can't pick Ryu, pick Ken. Yes. I get to be yes. Ryu. Okay, so I don't have the balance to do that. I hate, ugh, I hate my calf right now, bro. I hate my calves. They're trying to, they're trying to seize up on me. Got 
Got it. Heck you. Hot points. Get the points. It's late. Oh, one minute late. I did all that for something that I will probably never use. No. No. There's still about five more. How long is this? Son of a god. We're, we got, I gotta do it. I can't run away from it. I gotta do that one. I don't have to do it, but I need to do it because I've been slacking on my working out in general. Alright. Hour five minutes. And topping off at like 380. So I had to make sure of that. But how are you this fine day? I hope you are well on this Friday. I am doing fantastic. I am doing fantastic as it is currently. If I was at work, this would currently be my last half hour of working at my current job. But I decided they don't care enough about me. I'm not going in for my last day. Oh, it won't. Oh, the sleepy days. Gotta enjoy the sleepy days when they come along. Means you can nap. And napping is half the battle. Go, Joe. Yay! Okay. Let's select the skill. Um, yeah, what are they going to do? Fire me? No, they won't. So that's the thing. I said I would be able to type a little more smack on my current job because I'm no longer being employed by them. I'm still going to hold off on giving the name for a little bit. Unless it actually comes up and is necessary to talk about. I'm out of water. But... They're not going to fire me, because I'm somebody that showed up exclude, excluding snow days. I even showed up for mandatory overtime. While they've got people who they think the sun shines out of their ass, who, who wander away from their workstation and are only actually working about 40% of their workday, and they keep them close to the chest. If they fire me for... If they try and fire me for not showing up on my last day when I called in and said I'm not coming in, basically went through the hoops, they've got more problems to deal with 
then they'll have more they'll have more problems to deal with than me not showing up for my last day I follow up and say, okay. to which I uh, say as a reminder that, um, not next stream because next stream is a Saturday stream, which will be a normal stream, normal-ish stream. But after after Saturday, streams may happen about an hour earlier. They might. They might happen about the same time. I haven't decided yet. But weekday streams will happen either about the same time or a little earlier. Because I'm going to a new job that I start my job an hour earlier each day. But I only have to wake uh, but I only have to wake up half an hour earlier. T tells you how far I drive to get to work. Needless to say, I'm basically basically with my new job. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm losing some. Pay, uh, some I'm losing pay for. I'm losing pay overall. Well, I'm losing pay on a week by week basis. But overall, I'll be making more because I'm not going to be seasonal. I'll be I'll be a full time employee. And I will be closer to home. Or my new job is closer to home. And because I'll be closer at home, I don't have to drive as far. Amazing. And I've already said this three times, but yeah, basically I'm getting about an hour back of my day every day. From my from the job I just left. So you gotta think about it. I hate to sound like a it's like a oh woe is me thing, but you have to think about it like that, man. I have other than the weekends, I have at best five hours to myself. To unwind from the day and or make content while most people have six to seven hours Fantastic. so yeah I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to do more Wonderful. I'm gonna be able to do more okay. content stuff Keep it up. but It'll be, er but it'll be starting. A lot of it will be starting earlier on in the day, just because of my new work schedule. I don't know if I'll get one. Yeah, I haven't even hit the shop yet. Okay, we're, we got it. Yes and no. I say yes and no because that's kind of the sta that's kind of the standard now. It's a forty-hour work week in America. At least, well, I don't know if you're in America. My apologies for not knowing your nationality. In America, a forty-hour work week is normal. I mean, in Japan, they do. I think they do thirty-six hour work weeks. Yeah, I think in Japan they do 36 hour work weeks, but they do, but they do, they work six hours a day, six days a week, I think. So in Japan, like their only full day off, excluding holidays, is Sunday. But they also get like 10 hours of, they get also get like, 10 hours not on the clock do what you want time whereas America we get we other than the week outside of the weekend and holidays we get you know best case scenario six hours do what you want whatever you want without sacrificing sleep but yeah 40-hour work weeks are kind of normal 
but we're starting to get I think we're starting to get to a point now with society I, I love how we're going I'm, I love how you come in and I start talking society stuff because I not not your fault this is just my train of thought I love I think we're kind of getting to a point as a society right now in the US where we have machines that can handle so many jobs for us that human necessity that human necessity is kind of being overrated and a four-day work week is starting to become more of a normal thing. Four day, not 40 hour, four day. Like, what is it? Um, there's a lot of places, a lot of shipping facilities that do, you work four days a week, but you work 10 hours a day, but you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, or three days right in a row off. That's just me, man. That's just me. I'm just one guy who shows up to work, does his job, and goes home. Shows up to work, does his job, and goes home at the end of the day. Do I have double? I don't have double on. Oops. Good thing I did that, too. Double dragon fruit. Oh, I didn't see the uh, coins. It's, it's only five coins. It's not going to make or break me. I mean, if I'm running out of money, if I'm five coins short on something, I can just sell my greens that I have been sitting on for, what, the last 37 stages? But even then, for people who were customer service jobs, I'm going to point to fast food specifically for this. They don't even get those days off. Ah, Snake and Isabel. I see. So you like tripping on landmines. You trip on landmines for fun. <sighs> I mean, I don't see that as an impossibility. I really don't see that as impossible in any capacity, Rick, to be being frank with you. Because, like, the robots don't need to be, only thing that the robots need is a service technician to check up on it once or twice a day, maybe once or twice a week, and then just let it go. So, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, 10, you know, 10, 20, 30 years from now, all factory work is done by robot, and the only humans employed there are service technicians who come in three days a week. And they take turns coming in, too. That recently? That was very recently.
Whew. Okay. I gotta finish the stage. I've been slacking a lot on this. I gotta push. I gotta push for a little more. Good game. Good game. Shame it never got the you never got the HD remake that almost every other Mario and Luigi game got, but good game. I still have to go do a grocery run today and try and record the rest of Ocarina today. I'm going to try and record, I'm giving spoilers to those that watch my stuff on YouTube as well, but I'm going to try and record the rest of my Ocarina videos today as well. Edit, can't confirm it, can't confirm that. Can't confirm if I'll edit them all down, but I want to record them all so I can work on editing them if I have downtime. planks earlier on my elbows. Okay, that sounds stolen. I thought I lost volume on my end for a minute. But that would have to be, uh, it would save so much, but then you also got to think about, you know, the unfortunate side of, that's people who, that's, that's like people who in the workforce need that income to survive. So what's going to happen if they don't have that job or those jobs that are also done by, you know, blue collar jobs that are replaced by robots. Because if you think about it, like, you don't like to admit that there's people like that, but there are some people 
There are some people who work in a fast food establishment still who are in their 40s and 50s who never did much else in their life, but they need income, so that's what they're left with. Yeah. I would say that isn't a far possibility, and apologies, I'm going to sound insensitive when I say this, but when, uh, when the boomer crowd, when the baby boomers, when the baby boomers kind of peter out and we start having a lot of job shortage issues, we're already starting to have that, like nowadays. But when, once we start having job shortage or issues, the robots will come in and kind of pick up the slack and the human, the gap in human availability will make for more jobs. Or the gap in human availability will make for more robots doing jobs and will kind of come to an equilibrium. Unfortunately, this does equate to the human race uh, kind of pe uh, petering out a little bit. That's why I say it's insensitive. Because the human race dying out and also the comment of the boomers kind of going the way of the dodo. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Like, I, like I've been saying, everything terrible I've been eating has been working its way out of my system. I almost feel human again. Almost. future kind of thing where humans technically don't die anymore just when we're about to pass over to the other side our consciousness is uploaded to a, a storage bank of some kind and we live on through a machine that replicates our consciousness but then at that point we won't need money <laughs> I know, the future's, the future's weird, man. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what's coming. You just have to sit along and take the ride. Sit bucket seat and take a ride. Slow ride. Take it easy. this one I could have taken that other one for some additional money couldn't I oh well which I'm gonna do Is like, oh, everybody's almost like doomsaying almost about the future. Oh, I'm done. Doing great. Drop your hips. Victory. Bro, if that happens, imagine imagine if those same robots that are running those positions that nobody wants, that running those positions nobody everybody hates to be, 
Imagine a robot running in that position that either goes rogue or has been given license to, uh, what is it? Authority to subdue trouble customers. The term and phrase Karen will be going the way of the dodo because they're gonna to be too scared to challenge a robot. All right, we're gonna be done with this for today. And I think we're also gonna be done with the stream for today too. Well, in a minute here, rather. Hoonang! Look at that, look at that everything. That's the highest it's been in some time, sad. So, Let's begin our static anyway, stretching. it's stretching time. The ring this is also when I ask if you Mind folks have any questions body. you want to and ask of me before, of your before I end things off here. Um, so yeah, any questions you While guys want to ask. Back your left wrist, now, it is Friday, arm. and I've already told you guys what I want to do today is to try and record the rest of Ocarina Time today before the weekend gets going. And I might record other things over the weekend. Eh, you now know me, do doing too much on at the once. Opposite side. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and record the rest of Ocarina later to today. If extending. it works to my benefit and if somebody else uh, is doing it, maybe, maybe I'll play some golf Bring later with friends. Maybe I'll stream that. I don't know how long Raise that would be, but maybe I'll do that. Pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling we'll your see. Elbow maybe we'll make it a bonus stream tonight. We'll find out as, to, as the day goes on. Um... Saturday, Saturday, now I'll do all of the ring fit side. stuff on my own time, like normal. Stretch slowly and don't hold your breath. Yeah, I'll handle this ring fit stuff for the day on my own time. Don't worry about it. Bring yourself but we'll probably play, slowly. we'll probably play more of the story mode Join in Mario Golf, and maybe we'll move on to the. Uh, with your palms facing out. Maybe we'll move on to some of the back. pro the. Uh, single player challenges that they, that's in there because apparently there's there's a uh, star clubs for each golfer as well bring yourself back slowly put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips yeah. bend your um, right knee and stretch out your left calf and then after saturday after saturday i'll uh we'll potentially look at we'll look into potentially We'll look now into Monday lights. where I might start playing a new game. Shift your center and I might balance and I might start and stretch out the opposite side. I might start playing a new game depending on how golf goes. Or I might start or uh and we'll also see what my new stream start Bring time is gonna be on Monday. Because again, reminder my days that I can Wide stream are probably gonna be about the same. Your hands on your knees it's just that it's gonna be earlier on in the day. Rotate your for left the weekdays. shoulder inward and extend your left hip joint. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, there's a lot of lore Turn in that game. Facing forward. Now stretch your right hip joint too. Um, be sure not to let your knees bend inward. So this is the only problem. Bring Heck yourself you. back slowly. This is the only problem with record with how I record all those think fast videos. And your stretching is complete. Is that Good job. I record all of them, but then they release DLC by by the uh, near close to the time when the video I recorded of it without DLC goes live. So the DLC that's in the game for Minecraft Dungeons right now fixes a major problem that game has where you had to keep switching out weapons and basically running a new build every five to 10 levels. But now they've added in a way where you can basically just straight upgrade your gear if you like a build you have. Again, too little too late. Muscle quiz. Uh, educators.
Listen, you don't get to tell me what I can and can't do with my body. All right. I don't think there was any other questions, so we're just gonna we're gonna throw it over to somebody else now. Unless. Um, I'm going to throw it over to somebody else here for the rest of the evening. And again, I might come back later tonight. Who knows? Uh, if I do come back later, I'll make announcements on Twitter. But I think the only person that's live right now is probably Slim Kirby. At least uh, people I follow, I'll say. We'll go check. Because it's been almost three hours. Yeah, it's been almost three hours since I started this today. So let's spin the whimsical wheel of whimsy and see. Oh, hey, my package is here. Sweet. Sweet. Um, we'll see who actually went live in the last three hours. Nobody else. All right. Let me mute the site. And let's go toss it over to Slim Kirby. Now, Slim Kirby is playing Mario Party. It's kind of the thing he is most known for on in the world, or in the internet world, we'll say. So, don't backseat game him. He probably knows what he's doing. But, let's have some fun with the Slim. Wait for it. Is he actually live? Okay, he's actually live. <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and raid Slim today. Thank you all so much for coming out to the delayed Ring Fit stream. And again, tomorrow is going to probably be Moral Golf. So, thank you all for watching. If I forget to mention it tomorrow, keep an eye on your Schiller's channel. There is a video coming out on his channel that I'm going to be in. Anyway. Have fun over there with Slim. Chill. Have a fun, everybody. Peace.